Hello and welcome to the Ghost Town Chronicles. Empty and unloved, some of the world's priciest properties have been forsaken by their owners and left to languish, from royal residences to presidential holiday homes and sprawling manor houses. But what led to their fall from grace? We take a look inside some of the most expensive derelict mansions in the world and uncover the mysteries behind their abandonment. Number 1. Derelict Palazzo, Zebug, Malta Over in the city of Zebug, Malta, you'll find a hauntingly beautiful building that has seen better days. The historic palazzo has been left untouched for years, but luckily it's still structurally sound, according to Sotheby's International Real Estate who is attempting to sell the property for $4.8 million. Occupying a 0.74-acre plot, the house boasts a stunning walled garden with landscaped flower beds, 300 orange trees, a majestic pine tree and nine wells. As well as sprawling grounds, the pad offers 5,382 square feet of living space that showcases the building's amazing history. There's even a private chapel, the Chapel of Our Lady of Forsaken Souls which enjoys grade L protection. Dating back to the 18th century, the property was designed as a hunting lodge under the order of Emmanuel de Rohan Polduc, a member of the wealthy and influential Rohan family of France, and 70th prince and grand master of the Order of St. John. The property has five entrances, including its impressive two-leaf wooden main entrance door. As soon as you enter the property you can see the amount of money that Emmanuel poured into the place. The palazzo's lavish interior is still apparent, despite its rundown state, so it isn't hard to picture just how dramatic and grand this entrance hall would have been in its prime. From its intricately carved columns to its beautiful, tiled floor, there's much to love about this abandoned mansion. In total there are 15 palatial rooms inside the home. The main residence of the family, including six bedrooms, was in the high-ceilinged halls of the Piano Nobile. Italian for noble floor or noble level, on the first floor, traditionally the principal floor of a palazzo. Many of the interior spaces boast vaulted ceilings, ornate fireplaces and arches, while others open up to an interior courtyard that's flooded with natural light. There's a banquet hall featuring four 15-foot-high statues representing the four seasons, as well as original stone stairways, an antique living room and a beautiful cellar. Unique to the palazzo is a private theater on the ground floor, which still retains many of its spectacular trompeau and murals, meaning optical illusion and decorative detail. Plans to turn the property, also known as Villa Bulben, into a 50-room hotel were suspended in May 2022, according to reports, due to local opposition, so it's now back on the market and ready to be brought back to life. Number 2. Billionaires Row, London, UK the Bishop's Avenue, also known as Billionaire's Row, is one of London's most affluent and controversial streets. The prominent road can be found in Hampstead and around a third of the mansions along it have been left abandoned, with many of them having fallen into ruin. Owned mostly by foreign investors who leave their homes uninhabited, these luxe properties are now in a sad state of repair. Many of the 66 homes on Billionaire's Row were built in the late 1970s with around 20 of them now standing entirely derelict, despite being some of the most valuable homes in Britain. In fact, in 2008, Top Rack Mansion on the Bishop's Avenue claimed a new record as the most expensive home ever sold in the UK at the time. The estate changed hands for $69.2 million. Captured here by explorers beyond the point, this empty hallway is falling apart, with a caved-in ceiling that has let in the elements. However, it's easy to see reminders of the home's former grandeur still in place, such as the gold banister and stained glass windows within this cavernous hallway. As unbelievable as it may seem, some of the homes have been left untouched for over 30 years. This conservatory looks like the owners have just upped and left, with an ashtray still perched on the rattan table and faded magazines stacked high. The Bishop's Avenue has been dubbed one of the most expensive wastelands in the world by developer Anil Verma, who owns a property on this notorious street. Residents past and present include the super-rich Sultan of Brunei and Justin Bieber, who reportedly rented one of the street's more luxurious homes in 2016 for a whopping $153,000 a month. 
What was once the ultimate place to live in London has become an entire street of wasteful ruins and decaying buildings that are said to be collectively worth $436 million. Number 3. Selma Mansion, Virginia, USA. This venerable historic plantation house in Leesburg, Virginia sits on 212 acres and dates back to 1700. The mansion was rebuilt in 1902 in a colonial revival style by its then owner, Elijah Brokenborough White, who hired the most prestigious artisans he could find to deck out the rooms, which are notable for their fine paneling. The 20-room house also featured one of America's first intercom systems. White bred champion racehorses at the estate, and was wealthy enough to maintain the elegant neoclassical property to A.T. During its heyday in the 1920s, the mansion hosted grand balls and dinner parties that were attended by local politicians and other VIPs. After White's death, the house was inherited by his daughter, Jane Elizabeth. She died at the property in 1970 and the mansion passed to the Upperson family, who rented it out as a wedding venue. The house changed owners again in 1999, when it was acquired by Dutch businessman, Peter J. Termotten. Martin effectively abandoned the property in the early 2000s. Left to the elements, Selma Mansion began to fall apart. The crumbling house was slowly reclaimed by nature, and the interiors were targeted by vandals. Period features were smashed up or stolen, and parts of the roof caved in, as these photos from that time show. By 2009, Selma Mansion was on its last legs. In dire need of restoration or basic remedial works, at the very least, to preserve the structure and save the leaky roof, the house was designated one of the state's most at-risk historic sites by Preservation Virginia. Selma Mansion languished on the endangered list for the next seven years. In 2016, local resident and entrepreneur Sharon Vertz spotted the house on the list and vowed to buy and restore it. Delighting conservationists, Vertz and her husband, Scott Miller, persuaded Martin to sell and succeeded in acquiring the property for $1.20 million. Rescued from ruin, Selma Mansion is currently being restored to its former glory. Number 4. Thomas Clay House, Georgia, USA. Built in the 1890s, this empty stately mansion in Augusta, Georgia comes with a pretty amazing history. Offering eight bedrooms and six bathrooms, the sprawling home may have faded somewhat since its illustrious heyday when it was at the heart of high society life, but its prestige is still evident. The abandoned American home is said to have regularly hosted the 27th President of the United States, William Howard Taft, in the early 20th century. And even though its floors are now dusty, and its woodwork is graying, it's not hard to imagine the mansion's former grandeur. This reception space is nothing short of spectacular, from the Art Nouveau-style glass light fixtures to the magnificent leaded windows and detailed paneling. At the heart of the Queen Anne-style house, this grand carved staircase takes center stage. Talk about making an entrance. Commissioned in the late 19th century by businessman Landon Addison Thomas Jr., the property had been in the same family for over a century, before it was sold in April 2022 for around $1.4 million. Original hardwood floors extend throughout the interior, and some, like this beautiful parquet flooring, look to remain in extremely good condition. With a treasure trove of stunning period features, it wouldn't take a lot to make the Thomas Clay House a beautiful, bustling family home once more. In addition to the striking living spaces, the home is surrounded by over three acres of land. While somewhat overgrown and time-worn, Signs of the once manicured landscaping are still visible and aren't beyond the point of rescue. Peeking out from behind the overgrowth, the decades certainly haven't diminished the architectural charm of the Thomas Clay House. Number 5. Swananoa, Virginia, USA. This imposing Italian Renaissance revival mansion in Virginia was built in 1912 for business leader and philanthropist, Major James H. Dooley, at a cost of $2 million a hefty $51 million in today's money. No expense was spared on the ultra-luxurious property, which took 300 artisans eight years to finish. A romantic escape for Major Dooley and his beloved wife Sarah, Swananoa was kitted out with furnishings worthy of a billionaire, including exquisite Carrara marble flooring and wall panels, 
along with gold plumbing fixtures. The home's wow factor feature is a stunning 4,000-piece Tiffany stained glass window featuring a depiction of Mrs. Dooley that costs the equivalent of $46,000, when adjusted for inflation. The envy of the neighborhood, the mansion featured all the latest mod cons. As well as being the first property in the area to have electricity installed, Swanenoa had a cutting-edge elevator and dumbwaiter, and upon entering the property, Guests were wowed by the paneled entrance hall and splendid marble staircase. The Dooleys summered at the property until Major Dooley's death in 1924. Mrs. Dooley died in 1926 and Swanenoa passed to her late husband's two sisters, who didn't waste any time getting rid of it. The mansion was sold for the knockdown price of $300,000 and was converted into a country club which opened in 1929 but closed in 1932 on account of the Great Depression. The mansion was left empty for years. During the Second World War, the U.S. Navy floated plans to purchase the property but was put off by the cost. Swanenoa finally found a buyer in 1944 when local businessman A.T. Delaney acquired the dilapidated house for $60,000. He leased it to polymath Walter Russell and his sculptor wife Lau, who established a New Age university on the estate. Russell died in 1963 and his wife continued to lease the property until her death in 1988, when it was repurposed as the Russell Museum. The Delaney family, who still owned the property, shut the museum in 1998, partly renovating the villa before renting it out for events. It's now open to visitors for special tours in the spring and summer months. Number 6. Mezihyria Residence, Novi Petrivsi, Ukraine A monument to shameless corruption, the Mezihyria Residence in Ukraine was the official summer house for the Soviet leadership and was passed to the Ukrainian government following the dissolution of the USSR in 1991. Viktor Yanukovych moved into the property in 2002, shortly after his election as prime minister, and went on to spend millions of dollars of ill-gotten cash on it. Yanukovych was evicted from the residence following the Orange Revolution in 2005 but returned as prime minister in 2006. The politician had the property privatized the following year. The estate's Soviet-era buildings were demolished and work began on a five-story stone and timber palace, designed by Finnish firm Honka, which is thought to have cost at least $10 million. Yanukovych who was elected president in 2010, splurged millions of dollars of taxpayers' money on the blingy interiors, purportedly ordering scores of gilt and crystal chandeliers at $100,000 a pop and a staircase clad in fine marble, priced at an eye-watering $430,000. The no-holds-barred spending extended to the opulent bathrooms, which were fitted with the most expensive gold fixtures money could buy, as well as a bowling alley, an underground shooting range and a golf course that cost $3 million. Just north of the capital Kiev, the estate was hit by shells and bombs in the early days of Russia's war on Ukraine, according to reports, and has since been used as a military facility, as well as a shelter for local residents when under fire. The pro-Russian president also built a private zoo on the site during his time in office, importing kangaroos and ostriches and other exotic animals even going so far as to construct a new highway linking Mezihyria with Kiev. Despite the ongoing conflict, it was announced in June 2022 that the estate will officially become a state park and protected area. Back in the day, Yanukovych had a garage complex built to house his vast collection of classic cars. Karma eventually caught up with the president, who was ousted by the Ukrainian revolution in 2014 and fled the country. Wanted for high treason, Yanukovych is currently hiding out in Russia. His abandoned palace, a testament to the man's extravagance, became a tourist attraction after his exile. Make sure to check the second part of Most Expensive Abandoned Mansions. Please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel to not miss another video. See you next time for more Ghost Town Chronicles.